This is Jason Echo Power Sports. The GPS 180 for 2023 is done and dusted. I want you to see the first lap through the eyes of Andrew Porter and Miss Fit Mason. They were both super fast. They both did really well. Here's a quick look how the first lap went. Get so the GPS 180 is a 180 minute endurance race for mini bikes. So you're going up and down just treacherous terrain for three hours. Some people did it solo, some people had a teammate and just swapped out every other lap. But either way, for three hours, you're going nonstop trying to cover as much ground as possible. It's about to go down. Someone's gotta run right into that. It's gonna be great footage though. It will be. <laughs> y'all need to, I'm gonna count down and then y'all need to listen to the shot. So the shotgun's gonna go off. That means y'all run, pull start, and have fun. Good luck, y'all be safe. All right? favorite part of the 2023 GPS 180 track was definitely the U-turn section, mainly the downhill before and then the big jumps on the way up, mainly because I found it super challenging in the beginning, it was very intimidating, but then by the end of the race, you're just nothing but air time on the way down and the way back up. So to prepare for the 2024 GPS 180, I'm going to buy two stress balls and just squeeze them to prepare my forearms for the three hours of brutality. What's going on? It's Charles from Cars and Cameras. And my favorite part of the track at the GPS 180 was definitely the back straight stretch. I like to call that full Sin City. I know there was already a Sin City there, but man, you could really just rev that bike out. I was passing people like they were sitting still. And uh, the hardest part of the track for me was probably the beginning, the flat uh, dragon's tail, like back and forth flat sandy curves. I could not get those. I just couldn't put any power through that corner. 
or the corners. And uh, for what we're gonna do to prepare for next year, it's just more practice and maybe a little, maybe a little extra sauce on you know, the old twist grip or go with the thumb throttle. I'm not really sure, but we got some plans and uh, we're actually, we, we just we can't wait till next year. Thank you again. Guys, this is Matt Leach from Syracuse, New York. I'm one of the ones that flew in to an amazing event. Cool power sports, cars and cameras. Can't say enough about you guys. You guys did a great job. Favorite part, Sherwood Forest Part 2. That part was tricky. Uh, you come through the first section, it was windy. I seen a lot of cat and mouse chases through there. And then the back section was a little rougher. I get past a lot of people. Full throttle through there, hammer down. Hardest part, gotta be Buck and Bronco. Buck and Bronco lived up to his name. You come around the corner, first thing you're met with is a rock shell. Hammer into the bottom part, come up the other side, you're met with carnage. I seen it all. Uh, pop chains, broken belts, people crash into each other. Lots of struggle and happened in that section. First of all, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Go Power Sports for this great event. It's been three years in a row, it gets better and better, and I look forward to next year. The hardest part was probably backstretch with uh, power poles, people in the way, it's hard to get by. My favorite part was the Bucking Bronco, I just like the, the challenge of going up with the rough incline and then decline, and just whole world of sending it down, just flying past anyone that's on the straightaway. Yeah, next year I want to work on bringing more bikes to race. Just a few things here and there, a little bit more power with the engine that didn't seem to be in the so. But it handles better, it's better than last year's bike. Hey, Jim here with Strictly Custom Mini Bikes. Just first of all, I really enjoyed the Bucking Bronco. It was awesome to be able to fly up those hills and have a bike with the power to do so and be able to kid them up over the ridge and come down and be able to pass them. That was a great opportunity to catch some laps, gain some ground. The hardest part of the race is just making sure that you have your bike running. That is three hours. It's a long time on that kind of ground to be 
riding around, we actually ended up cracking our gas tank, breaking a throttle cable, and then I ended up losing a belt. Next year, our plan is to make sure that we have everything that we need. We're actually going to mount a hard mount toolbox type of thing to be able to house extra belts, throttle cables, anything that might come up that we might need during the race. Um, we're also going to be practicing a lot this year, get used to different terrains, go up in the mountains, so we'll be coming back twice as strong next year. Hope to see you guys there. So my favorite section was probably back streets back because you could just hammer a bike and it had the power to just take off and with a little bit of sand mixed in you could kind of get sideways and put the bike back and forth and kind of get a little sideways on it so i love that and that was fun you could just rush through that portion and then the trickiest portion for me and the hardest was probably the new addition i felt like the little bumps and all that was I don't know it felt difficult on the bike for some reason the bike never fully settled in with the hard tail it just constantly was rattling still wanted to figure out a bigger gas tank system on lap two I lost my spare gas tank so I didn't really feel comfortable running the four or five laps like I had planned before refueling so I just ran three laps didn't want to risk it and be stranded on the back end of the, the track, but I would say that's probably the biggest thing. It's fuel just to stay on the bike and keep us running. Other than that, I stayed on the track, didn't have any issues with the bike. The setup was great. Are you for the next year? Hey guys, it's Lucas with Strictly Custom Mini Bikes, and uh, just talking about the GPS 180. First of all, thank you to Tim and everybody at Go Power Sports and all you great people that were out competing and hanging out and helping and doing all the good stuff. Favorite parts of the track: downhill and the uphill at the U-turn, and probably the downhill and the big straight at the end of Bucking Bronco where you can really wind them out. That's pretty awesome. And then the uh, hardest part of the track. Probably what Sherwood Forest 2 at the top of the big hill climb. That's usually where people are getting wiped out, breaking down and in the way, and you're trying to sneak on through that tight spots, but it's still a blast. What am I going to do to prepare for next year? I don't think I'm going to be telling you that. Maybe more leg days at the gym, no more stretching, old man stuff. Anyway. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next year. Hey guys, Thomas here, Buffalo Builds here in OKC. 
I was out there, the Go Power Sports 180 on the yellow full suspension BT. Had a part failure second lap in. Uh, the tensioner, the threads on the tensioner and the tensioner bolt both shredded. We sent it after that, it held all right. My favorite parts, gosh, the hill. Obviously, killed the hill this year. I enjoyed all the telephone pole roll, or telephone pole lane, I forget what it was, but where it's two different elevations and one, you know, it's pretty, pretty bumpy. I'm just flat out through there. I just had tons of fun. I don't think there's anything I could change or would change. Just bring more friends, guys. Get more people out there. So most people were able to do a lap time between eight to 10 minutes, and that's if they were really pushing it and didn't have any major breakdowns. Be sure to stay tuned for behind the scenes footage and some of our interviews with the riders coming up. Talk about the experience, how was it? You know, the first couple laps are probably the worst of the race, you know? <laughs> Exhausted, like I just rode a marathon, which we kind of did. Threw me over the handlebars, and that caused my handlebars to bend forward. I want to give a huge shout out to the GPS 180 winners. So next race in 2024 is going to be November 9th. So be sure to mark your calendars for November 9th for the 2024 GPS 180 race. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ride on.